Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on real quick. Wanted to say hello and thank you for your continued support. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of interest about one of the add-ins that I have called the AI Tool Pack. Now, I wanted to go over, take just a few minutes and share with you everything about this powerful tool because there have been so much interest and so many questions. It's actually a tool that I keep adding on new features to. Now we have eight different features in this tool. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough and an overview on how you can use this tool to completely change the way you use Excel, save a ton of time and money and a lot of headaches. So let's jump in and I'm just going to show you some of the features with this. Now keep this in mind, this tool, you will not need your own API code. In fact, you don't need anything but Excel and this add-in. So it's absolutely one of the best tools that I've ever developed. The first of which is the AI Assistant. We take a look at this AI Assistant. Now this is just an assistant that you can pretty much ask any question you want. It doesn't have to do with Excel and it can be really literally anything at all. So for example, let's say I want to ask, how do I build in a cash flow forecast for my business? All I need to do is just simply type in here and then I just hit send. And it's gonna be generating response in just a few seconds. And now we see we get the detailed response. We get some ideas. We can then copy this to the clipboard if we want to. It gives a step-by-step -step response of everything we should do. If we decide to copy the clipboard, we can put this in another sheet just like this, and then we can paste it in. So we get everything we want and even some sample data. So it can be extremely helpful for that. We can also clear it out and we can ask other questions. We can also add in our own data if we want to do that. For example, let's say we have this, what graph would I use best for the following data? So I'm just going to copy all this. I'm going to use control C and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paste it directly in here and I'm going to hit send. And so as you see, we've got the original question and we've got a detailed answer. It says bar chart, a purpose, how to use it, a line chart. We can also continue questions. So for example, if you want to continue the conversation, you can do just that. Like maybe we want to know what kind of combination charts would work best. So we can just type in what type of combination chart would you suggest? So we can now continue the conversation just by hitting enter. And in just a few seconds, we've got our response. So we have what type of combination chart we use. And then here it gives more examples. So actually we can create a really good conversation. Once again, it doesn't have to be about Excel. It could be literally about anything. And that's a great way. That's the AI system. That's just one of eight features that I have in this. Again, we can copy the clipboard, but we can close it out. The next is fix my formula. Now this one is really, really powerful. Let's say we have a formula that there's an issue such as this index match. We're having a problem with it and it's not quite working. All I need to do is just click on the cell and then just click the button fix my formula. And we're gonna let Excel and AI do its magic together. In a matter of seconds, we're gonna have a ChatGPT response and then we have the detailed response. So the formula we provided, it says what kind of issues we have. It gives us corrected formula. All we need to do is just copy that corrected formula. We also get a detailed explanation exactly what. So it's a great teaching tool as well as it's gonna fix. And then I just paste in that updated and you see it now works perfectly. Also, what we can do, it works on complicated formulas that we want to narrow down. For example, we have this formula here and it may not be too accurate and it's also large. I'm just going to copy that and we can also just actually, we don't have to copy that. We just select on the cell and we click fix my formula and it will actually optimize any formula to have and make suggestions or recommendations based on that formula. And so we have the updated right here. The formula provided has a few issues. We've got already an updated formula right here. All we need to do is just copy that. We've got the explanation down below if we want to use it and we can just paste that in and we have the corrected formula just like that one of the most powerful features feature number three that I'm gonna share with you is fix my VBA code now I've used this one a lot if you have any issues with VBA code all you need to do is just go in and we're gonna copy some code I've got code here this particular code we have not set the worksheet properly we need to use the word set so I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna watch chat GPT and the AI tool pack get this just right. So now keep in mind that this uses the latest model of ChatGPT OpenAI. In fact, if there are future models, I am updating this plugin constantly. Fix my code, we're just gonna click on that. 
we're gonna get a user form that pops up. And then all we need to do is just paste in the code and click fix my code. In just a few seconds, we have the corrected code along with an explanation. All we need to do is copy that and we can paste it in. Before I do, I'm just going to run this and we see that there's an issue, right? So now what we're gonna do is reset it. I'm gonna paste in that updated code right now. I'm gonna run it one more time and it runs just fine without any issue at all. Very, very cool. So we've got that to share with you. I use fix my code constantly to double check my code as well. And I think you're really going to love that. It's gonna save you tons of time and headaches. One of the features that I use nearly every day myself is getting table data. When you've seen my work, you see there's always lots of data in tables. Now I don't have time to write that out, but what I do is I use a feature called get table data. All we need to do is just simply select on a cell that contains whatever our request is. For example, in this case, provide Apple stock returns by the year 2015 to 2022. And all I need to do is just click get my table and the results are gonna come in just a few seconds directly inside your Excel sheet. So we see that it is processing here. In a few seconds, that will come. Here's a table representing Apple. So let's shrink this up a little bit. We've got the year and we've got all the information, exactly what we have asked for. Another one, I use sample data a lot, right? So as I was mentioning, I use sample data. For example, here's another request. Please generate 20 sample accounting transactions, including transaction date, time, name, and number. So all I need to do is get table data and those transactions are gonna be done. It's a great way to test out your workbooks, test out your code or your dashboard, we can get any type of fake data in here in just a matter of seconds and it will follow it exactly. And here we go. We now have the fake data in the transactions. So we've got office expenses. They're all in the year 2025 that I've asked for. We've got expenses. Very, very handy and very quick. Taking this data and typing it in would take a large amount of time. That's called the get my table data. Another great feature is the write my VBA code. Sometimes we have an idea of some code that we want, but we have no idea how to write it, or maybe we just don't have the time to write it. Well, write my code is gonna come in handy. Let's say that I want to highlight all of the particular cells here that are greater than a thousand. And what I wanna do is I wanna use VBA for that. And I don't wanna use conditional formatting. So all I need to do is just write a sentence here, write VBA code to highlight all cells in column R that are greater than 1000. So great, and why don't we put in sheet one? So let's just add that in sheet one so that it knows exactly what sheet to use. So all I'm going to do is just copy these instructions here, and then I'm going to click write my code. I'm gonna paste my code in right here, and then I'm just gonna click request my code. And then all we need to do is just simply copy and paste the macro, sometimes there's additional instructions. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy from the top of the sub all the way to the end sub, and we're just gonna use control C. We're gonna go close that, we're good to go with that. We're gonna go into the VBA, and we're just gonna write a subroutine right here. And we see the fully commented out here, very good on sheet one, it's followed the directions. I'm now going to drop this down a little bit and I'm going to run the macro here. And now we see that everything has been highlighted. And of course it took the amount here and some other ones, but at least it's looking good. Sure, we could modify it starting at a certain row, but everything worked well. That's pretty quick for writing code. Next up, what I would like to share with you is the optimize my code. This one I just added about a month ago. So let's go ahead and take a look in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it. It's gonna open up a larger user form. Inside this user form, you may have multiple workbooks open. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select whatever workbook. So let's say I have this custom sorting, this training I just did. We're gonna select on the module where the code is we want. So I'm gonna click on here. What that's going to do is we see we have some code. It's not very commented out. It's not properly written. It's not tabbed out. There's a lot of issues with this code. There's no comments here. We don't know what's going on. So what I would like to do is I'd like to optimize this code. Now, exactly what do I want to optimize? We've got additional options here. In this code, I've added some extra variables. These variables are not used in the code. They're waste, so they could be removed. We're gonna let AI do all that work for us. So I'm just gonna click check for our comment misspellings. We're going to optimize code indentation. Notice this code has not been properly indented. We wanna add comments where needed. I wanna remove unused variables and I wanna fix any code issues that might exist. I may also wanna optimize this and update this code to use on Mac computers. So we can do that too. Once I've selected all that, I'm just gonna click Run Optimizer. And we're gonna let AI do its work. And here we have it. We have that fully optimized code right here. So we see that it's been commented out. 
Now I'm gonna take a look in the existing code. We have not made any updates yet. So I just wanted you to take a look inside. I'm gonna look inside the VBA editor. We're going to look at that particular workbook. I've got multiple workbooks open, but I want to look at this one right here, which is the custom sorting. We're inside this module. Here's the same code that's not commented out properly. It's not tabbed, right? So everything's still the original. All I need to do now is click one button, click update existing code. And it says, are you sure you want to? And we are going to say yes and it's now been optimized. I'm gonna look back inside the VBA editor. We now have all of our code fully optimized. Notice those variables have been removed that weren't used. All the code is properly indented. It's properly commented out. Just like that, it could not be any easier. Now there may be a chance where you actually want to go back to the old code. Maybe something's not working, or maybe you wanted to see something from the old code. I've got you covered on that too. We can also restore from the backup. Now, a copy of that old code actually has been saved inside the admin. So all we need to do is just select the workbook, which is custom sorting. We're gonna select that module, which is this one, and we're gonna select a backup. So we've got a backup that I just made here, and we get the option, and we can see the backup is right here. Here's our existing code, here's the backup. If I restore from the backup, I sure you want to restore the code from the backup? Yes, we can. And the code has now been restored. So we can look back inside the module and we have our old ugly code with the extra variables that are not needed. So very, very powerful feature called optimize my code. Next up, number seven is the chat GPT function directly in Excel. This is a super powerful tool because it has so many possible uses. For example, let's say we want to determine intent. Let's say we've got a list of reviews here based on the Titanic, and I want to know whether those reviews are positive, neutral, or negative. AI can do that work for us, and we can simply use drag and drop after writing just a single function. So we can use equals chat GPT, use that custom function here, and I'm just going to put please return either positive, and then we'll do neutral or negative for the following review. Then we're going to do space, and we're gonna do based on the original, which is located directly inside G7. And then I'm just going to close it out, parentheses, and then hit enter. And ChatGPT is gonna return positive for that. Okay, very cool. So we've got a positive. Now all we need to do is just double click or drag and drop formula right down here. And there you have it, a very powerful ChatGPT function directly in Excel. There are endless uses of this particular function. And the final feature that I'd like to share with you is the one click insight. So let's say we have a dashboard here that we wanna get some insights from. And I wanna let AI do all the work. So all I need to do is click AI tool pack here and then just click one click insights. And that's all I need to do, just one click. And in a few seconds, all the insights on that dashboard are going to be revealed. And here we have it. We've got information about financial overview for the dashboard. We have total expenses. We've got a summary here, which is really looks good for pending estimates and all outstanding invoices seem to be current with nothing aging. So we've got a complete insights. And if we want to edit the prompt, we can do just that. Maybe we want something specific from the dashboard. All we need to do is just ask it. Maybe we want to know what are the top items sold or something like that. We can do that too. So that's a really cool feature. That is the newest feature. All eight of those features, and that includes the AI assistant, the fix my formula, the fix my code. You're talking about the get table data, super powerful. Also the ability to simply request your code and have it written automatically with the right my code. Optimizing my code, again, super powerful, something I use as well. The chat GPT function, a very easy yet very powerful tool. And the one click insights, all eight of those, I'm gonna pack inside the AI tool pack add-in. That is an add-in, I currently have a really big discount on that. I'm gonna include the link down below. It's a great way to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. Once again, you won't need any open AI uh, account or chat GPT account. Everything is in this one pack. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.